Hello folks, this is Jamil Sweat for Gunstalk Reviews. I'm here in Gunsight Academy in Portland, Arizona with my friend Ed Head, instructor extraordinaire. How are you doing, Ed? Very well, sir. How are you? Thank you very much. And today, Ed is going to talk about Scott rifles. This is why I have a Ruger Scott rifle here. Ed, what is a Scott rifle and what makes a Scott rifle a Scott rifle? The Scott rifle concept was developed by Gunsight's founder, Jeff Cooper, uh, some years ago. And what he wanted was a short, handy, user-friendly, general-purpose rifle that could be used defensively or for hunting purposes for most of the game you might find in North America. So he conceptualized that it ought to have things like adjustable stock spacers so you could fit it to a person, that it ought to have a rail forward mounted so that you could put a, a low-power optic out there and shoot with both eyes open, that it would have backup iron sights in case the optic failed. A number of features like that, and that all went into the scout rifle concept. Okay, great. And uh, a lot of people say that some of the scout rifles, there's a weight that Jeff selected for the rifle, not too heavy, but also not too light. Well, again, he wanted it to be <clears throat> handy. So <clears throat> there's a little bit of controversy over this because Jeff's standard changed over time. Okay. But initially he said three kilos, which would be 6.6 .6 pounds. Okay. Then later he said maybe seven and a half pounds with the scope and, and, and ready to go. But the point being, you don't want a nine, 10, 12 pound rifle. Okay. You want something that you can easily carry and that, a, and the reason it's called a scout rifle is he conceptualized this idea of a, a military scout working by himself and not needing to have huge amounts of firepower, but being able to make one shot and then scoot Okay. And be able to move and shoot and maneuver. So it's easy, easily maneuverable, lightweight enough mm -hmm. to be carrying. And then the concept of the magazine fed rifle too is helpful, no? It was. Uh, the original Scout prototypes were made out of sporting rifles. And so they were usually top fed with a blind magazine. But as we started being able to put uh, box magazines on these rifles, that became one of the key features. Okay, awesome, awesome. And of course, it's a Scout Russell con rifle concept bolt action only or can it be a semi-automatic? Jeff theorized that most of the semi-automatics in, in large calibers end up being too heavy and too bulky. Okay. And so he kind of thought a bolt action was the way to go. And there are a couple of reasons for that. One, again, firepower is not what you're after. You're mm -hmm. after making one or two decisive hits with a powerful caliber. And you can easily do that with a bolt action. And bolt actions are generally more robust and uh, uh, more, less likely to, to uh, break down, break or, down or jam, or, jam or, or anything like that, yeah. Well, awesome. Thanks, Ed. Thanks for, for being here with us. Sure. So, in summary, the Scout rifle is supposed to be a bolt-action rifle under 7.5 pounds, forward scope, the new ones with box-fed magazines, lightweight enough to be able to get in and out of situations very rapidly and deliver that decisive shot. Also, like this Ruger rifle, uh, it has the backup sights, the, like I said, it's forward scope mount, and a really good sling for it. So, thanks for watching. Thank you for watching Gunstock Reviews. Please visit our website at www.gunstockreviews.com for more exclusive content. Please visit our patron page at www.patreon.com slash gunstockreviews. Your contributions would be greatly appreciated and help us grow our selections and frequency of videos.